Okay, let's go ahead and look at number four. We have the original coordinates. I always start with the original coordinates first. So I have negative 2, 2, and then f is 1, 0, and g is 2, 3. Now I'm going to translate four units to the left and one unit up. So remember, you're going left and up. So four units to the left would take me one, two, three, four, and one up. That would be E prime. And F would be one, two, three, four, one up. That would be F prime. And G would be one, two, three, four, and one up would be G prime. Connect them. Hopefully you have the exact same shape. You don't end up with a different looking triangle or a square or something. And then write the new coordinates. So we have E prime is now negative 6. Whoops, sorry. And 3. F is negative 3, 1. And G is negative 2, 4. Now hopefully you're looking at your observations and you're realizing that um, you're seeing a pattern here. So our goal is to not have to graph these all the time because really who carries around graph paper with them everywhere? So now we have x plus 3 and y minus 5. This looks different because it doesn't tell us right or left. Well, you can figure this out because if you're on the x-axis, which goes left to right, and you're adding 3 to a point, you're going to the right. So you can think about that is right. And then if you're on the y-axis and you're subtracting 5, you're going down. So that's going down 5. So let's look at our original coordinates. A is negative 1, 2, 3, and up 4. And B is negative 2, up 1. Now let's look at the new coordinates. Hopefully at this point you're able to do this without having to graph them. Hopefully you can see that you're adding, when you move to the right, you're actually adding 3 to the x-coordinate. So if I take the x-coordinate in A, which is negative 3, and I add 3 to that, I get 0. And the x-coordinate in B is negative 2, and I add 3 to that, I get positive 1. And the y-coordinate is 4. Since I'm going down, I'm going to subtract 5, so y minus 5 is negative 1, and 1 minus 5 is negative 4. So hopefully our observations are that we don't need the coordinate graph anymore. We can just look at how it's moving and just move the coordinates. So go ahead and try it on um, number 2. Go ahead and try um, trans translating without having to actually graph it. Pause the video and then play it, and we'll see how you did. So the coordinates for C are 2, 5, and 2, 1 for D, and 4, 1 for E. So hopefully if you subtracted 5, so I'm taking X minus 5, so I'm doing 2 minus 5 is negative 3. And 2 minus 5 again is negative 3. And 4 minus 5 is negative 1. Then the second one is 5 minus 2 is 3. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. And 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So this is left because I'm subtracting. And this is down 